Good morning, everyone. It is Kelly Fisher here coming to you from Treasure Coast Sotheby's International Realty here in Vero Beach and Sebastian. We are so excited about the market we're in right now. Um, we are getting multiple offers on a lot of properties, property selling above asking price. And um, what that has caused, unfortunately, is some frustrated buyers. A lot of people, especially when they are out of state, um, or if they already currently own a home are having a hard time buying homes. And so I thought today I would make you a quick video about the situation and what might work for you and how you might be able to get in and win on some of these great houses that are coming on the market. Um, many of which are getting all these bids and, and buyers are getting cut out. So the first thing I'm going to suggest and what I often tell people when they call on our listings and they say, well, I already, home, I already own a home. I have a house I have to sell first. That is putting the cart before the horse. So unless you're someone that owns a home free and clear and can buy for cash, you're gonna have to do a little bit of homework and preparation. So um, if you are one of those people, fantastic. My suggestion would be to get with your lender, set up a home equity loan, and be prepared to uh, pay cash for a property. Not only will it make the situation easy for you, it will give you a competitive edge over all the other buyers who are interested in the great homes. So that's the first thing. Number two, you own a home and you don't have enough equity to do that. You also should be talking to a lender to find out if you are possibly qualified to um, get another mortgage while you already have one. We do have lenders here in town that can help you with some bridge financing and that can actually make it a reality for you to own your first home, buy a second home and um, comfortably handle that for a short period of time. We've done that for a lot of sellers and it's worked out quite well. Number three, you could request in your offer an extended closing date. Now, um, it's a bit of a risk, but it has worked for a lot of people. And what you need to do if you're going to do that, perhaps the seller doesn't need to move quite right away. You can make an offer with say a four, five, six month closing date. Maybe they have kids still in school and you get your house on the market immediately. Now, of course, you need to be prepared for the eventual eventuality that your house didn't sell in time. But if you hire the right agent and you price your house competitively, there should be no problem for your house to sell and give you plenty of time to close on your new home. So um, obviously there are a lot of ins and outs and nuances and things that need to fall into place in order for you to be selling a home and buying a home at the same time. Um, if you have the proper guidance and an agent who can walk you through that process, it can successfully be managed. And I know we talk to a lot of people all the time who were very nervous about trying to buy a home and trying to potentially sell a home at the same time. And of course, people want to know, am I going to be able to buy a house that I love? And they want to do that first. But the truth is you really have to do things in the order that it's going to work for you based on your own financial circumstances. So thanks for coming back to this video blog. And I hope that this has answered some questions for you. If you need some specific advice for your situation, or if we can put you in touch with a lender that might help you bridge that gap, please give us a call in the office at 772-236-7862. Be sure to visit us on our website, kellysoldmyhome.com. And please feel free to share this video with anyone you know who might be in this situation. We look forward to seeing you at the next blog and have a wonderful day. Bye now.